You know who was here, um, or who was here a couple days ago? Uh, John Travolta. Who was, um, John Travolta, he was here, yeah, he was here um, doing something for Qantas. And, um, well, Qantas, Qantas and I, that's the fag I want to have so bad. He's, okay, don't tell anybody. All right, I'm going to get in trouble, but I'll just tell you, he is so gay. John Travolta is so gay. Not, not just gay, like he's not just gay. Like he doesn't just like men. Oh, the, he is like Oscar Wilde gay. And so, like he is, that motherfucker, he's just like fucking, like, like <laughs> Lord Byron gay. Like that kind of crazy, like incredibly flamboyant gay. Like he was, wears a cravat. <laughs> To soak up all the semen. <laughs> he is so gay, and I feel bad for him, you know, because I know that he would be much happier if he could just come out. But he just can't, you know, he can't. And I, I, I know him, I know him well because I did a movie with him, and I worked with him for a year, and um, it was a big movie called Face Off, and it was a really weird, it was a weird movie because... Well, it was a weird movie because the, the way that he worked on it is John Travolta can only work 10 hours a day. And part of the 10 hours is him flying to his plane to lo location and flying home. So really, essentially, he only had to work, work like five hours a day. And the movie was directed by John Woo, who's a Hong Kong director, and he, um, he's not used to that at all. You know, he's... Hong Kong directors, he, he's like used to Hong Kong actors who do their own stunts and then go home and sew a bunch of Nike shoes and then sell their girl children and then come back to work, you know, so John Wu was not used to that. I mean, and, and John Volta, he was so pampered and so taken care of. It was the closest that I've ever been to being in the presence of a king or a queen, actually. And, but I felt bad for him because he was just so gay and, you know, just couldn't be out about it, and then um, he's had a lot of sexual harassment lawsuits against him, and, but, but the last two have stuck because the last two people, the last two guys who accused him of sexual harassment have been able to describe his asshole so perfectly to the police that no one could deny that they, they were telling the truth. I mean, they, they, the police kept trying to just like, and then it was that Helen Mirren prime suspect moment of like, I've seen that asshole before. <laughs> but they described his asshole as being red and chapped. <laughs> so if he offers you chapstick, don't take it. <laughs> That's why he came down here for the pawpaw ointment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, I hope you enjoy that because I'm going to get assassinated. <laughs> I mean, if, if Tom Cruise is going to fucking take me out. <laughs> if I ever go missing, go, go for one of them. <laughs>